Can you walk me through a little bit here how exactly that's supposed to work and how they're justifying this as part of this supposedly historic deal? Sure, Stu. It's great to be here. Uh, we're finding that there is a secret side deal to the Iran nuclear agreement under which Iran will collect soil samples and, and maybe, maybe swipes to detect whether it was engaged in covert nuclear weapons work. And this is something that was discovered by accident when two congressmen, con Congressman Mike Pompeo and Senator Tom Cotton, went to the IAEA in July and were told this accidentally mm. by IAEA officials, that there's this secret side deal that has not been shown to the United States and will not be shared with the U.S. Congress. Now, the purpose of this deal is to resolve questions about possible military dimensions. That's U.N. lingo for nuclear weapons work and access to the Parchin military base, where Iran allegedly has been engaged in explosive testing to develop nuclear warheads. Well, these issues couldn't be resolved during the talks. Uh, Secretary Kerry put forward a proposal in late May or early June to basically write these issues off, but it wasn't generous enough for Hamani, Supreme Leader Hamani. So lo and behold, these secret side deals come about, which are not part of the agreement, which the United States says it doesn't know what's in them, which are supposed to resolve these issues. And I got to tell you, the idea of Iran collecting its own samples on its own covert nuclear weapons work is, is really unprecedented. It's like asking an NFL player to mail in his own urine samples for a drug investigation and tell the NFL, well, trust me, it's for me. Yeah, well, I mean, the left certainly had a huge problem with Chris Christie over a stupid traffic issue when they were talking about him investigating his own issues there. They complained about it constantly, um, and apparently no one seems to care about this. Although The IAEA is responding, however, to these reports. They say this, I can state that the arrangements are technically sound and consistent with our long-established practices. They do not compromise our safeguard standards in any way. If Iran is doing the inspections themselves, how can that possibly be true, Fred? Well, the IAEA issued this curious statement, which basically said, we're not turning over verification of the nuclear deal to Iran. But these side deals are not part of the nuclear deal, in the view of the IAEA. And it's supporting this unusual arrangement, which isn't surprising, because the IAEA director helped negotiate this arrangement. So they're, they're supporting something they already agreed to. Hmm. Now, we knew there were secret side deals last month when this came up in a congressional hearing, but we learned from the, from the AP, this is so much worse than we realized. Iran is going to take photographs and take imagery of sites and turn these image, images over to the IEA. The IEA will look at them and decide where in these photographs and videos should Iran collect samples. Iran is allowed to exclude military sites. But I mean, come on, this is an, an Inspector Coso-like arrangement. Iran's going to take photographs of areas for the IAEA to, to collect samples from. What do you think they're going to take photographs of?